Hi guys, you are welcome to this wonderful animation course. It's about how to make an amazing 3D animation. This course is set to change the life of every artist and content creators and every person interested in making beautiful animation videos. This course will help you change the way you create your content for your music videos. It will be very easy and you will like the course. It will be something you can do at your pace whenever you wish to create an animation for your audience and get people loving your works. We'll be making use of a very powerful software and I'm going to provide the download link next after this video you are watching. So let's get it started. So um, this is an introduction to the software we're using. And the software is called uh, Movizu Play. Um, it's a very powerful software, just like any other animation software, and it makes our work um, in animation faster than any other software. So within a um, few days, a um, few days or few weeks, depending on the script or depending on the animation you are working on. So you'll be able to finish your animation instead of um, some other software that takes months or even years to build animation. So find this software comes with some ready-made ready-made um, objects, the one you can use in in making your quick animations, and also. Um, there is an option to if you want to if you want to import your designed object anything you have designed you can bring it in also and if you have any downloaded um, um object also so there's a way you can you can bring them in here so um i just want to show you the some, some overview on the software okay i'm starting from here so um if you want to create a new a new project this is where you click where you click so and you can also um it on control n which is for um a new project so um if you have an existing project you've been working on um you can open there by clicking by um clicking on here and the shortcut is ctrl o so which is open so you click on here it will take you to um your files your computer files so by then you can you'll be able to browse and locate your already saved project so here this is where you save your project and if you already have a saved project and you want to change the name you can press here which is save as so here under options so i'm going to click this so other options we have um firstly we have video so it says video resolution and codec so here this is where you set the resolution of your projects depending on and um, what, what you're working on and how you want your resolution to be and it depends on which platform are you working on is it for social social media or um is it for youtube or tiktok or is it for your personal you know you can just um go on and explore all this but i think um the best thing to choose right now is um um this and then here on codec um it is advisable to always um leave it on this on compress so that you have your um you have your original video without compressing and after making the vinyl video you can do whatever you want to do with it so um here also we have um direct x fashion 
on that design tool. So um here you're gonna choose whether you need um nine or eleven. But presently I'm using eleven. So audio is where you set your audio volume, then um control this is where you set your um mouse control. So you want your mouse control to be showing on the screen. And here is language. So and um, then um, we have license manager. Then we have quit. That's if you are no more working, if you want to quit the software. So here um we have under create we have characters, object, backdrop, effect, and words, camera, and import. So import, like I said earlier. You can import your um, ready-made objects. Um, um, just anything you can import it inside the software. So I'll be showing you how to use um, all this, um, and then under edit, this way you edit your environment. Um, we have copy and paste also we have um, select then um, we have group and um, group then lock and then under view we have only mode and then we have um, hide and make visible that means uh, if you want to hide anything all these things if you want to hide them and if you hide them, there's also a way to show them again. So under um, prepare, and we have audio, we have dialogue, sound effect, camera course. Um, and after this, we also have um, direct. So um, direct is just a way of um, making your final final recording so prepare is let's assume you want to you want to make an animation so this is where you prepare anything you want to make this is where you prepare them to set them in the right position and then under here is where you carry out your operation anything you want to do this is where you carry out those operation on whatever you want to do or whatever you want to achieve. So on tools, this is where you this and where you bring your timeline. And if you want to enable snapping or 360 video. So and then finally we have a um, video, and this is where you make your final video. So and um, if you click on here, so that means you have finished your animation and you want to render it, you want to make it a video, either to the MP4 or AVI um, format. So that that on the um, on the software. So um, I will be showing you how to use all this option I've just mentioned. So, um, thank you. I will see you in the next lesson. So, um, in this tutorial, so I will be showing you how to make use of our mouse in this, in this software. So, um, the, on your mouse, the left button if you hold on the left button you can move your you can move any object around you can move it left and right back and to the front so to lift any object up you need to press the left and right button on your mouse
together and by doing so you can lift your object up and down don't forget i am holding the left and right button on my mouse and with that you can take any object up and down so if you want to rotate any object you can hold on to the right button on your mouse so if you hold on to the right, right button on your mouse you can rotate any any object so now i'm holding only the right button on the mouse so if i hold the two buttons which is the left and right i will be able to drag my object up to lift them up and down and if i should um, hold on to the left button on my mouse only i can be able to move my object around the screen so that's it so just as as um it is stated here so you can Try that before we start um, the tutorial. So I'm, I'm gonna bring um, I'm gonna bring another object to the scene. Objects. So if I double double click, if I hold the two buttons on the on my mouse, I will be able to lift this um this Roman port up and down. And if I want to rotate it, I just need to hold only the right button. So with that I can rotate any object. So, and if I hold only the left button, I'll be able to drag it anywhere on my working um, space. So, don't forget um, that is how to use a um, mouse in this software. So, thank you. Um, see you in the next lesson. So um, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build sets using objects that comes with the software. This is a very easy video tutorial and you just need to pay 100% attention. So okay, so when we open the software, we have a complete blank scene like this. Since we are starting from an empty set, and then you need to understand that this software comes with dozens of objects which you can use in your animation videos if you click on create and then go to object here you can see all the all the categories of objects that comes with the software you have so many of them and they are in different categories and you can go to this you can explore all this at your own time you have so many of them in there. So now um, I'm going to start off with a few sort of simple ones. To select any one out of this object, you simply need to double click on it. And then you can see whatever you click on your working space. That's your screen or your scene. For example, um, let's pick a tree. Let's look for a palm tree double click on it okay so um when the object appears it is completely touchable it is movable and it is also clickable you can move them around the scene backward and forward left and right in other way you can also edit them to your taste or to whatever you like 
you can change the color you can change the size or do any thing you want to do with them so to edit any object you can either right click or double click on the object to link up its property box or with an object selected you can right click and then go to edit in order to edit the object so um here at the top you can rename it to whatever you like you can change the name to maybe your own name and on the property properties also you can change the color also to any color of your choice um for example let's change this to blue blue okay and also control the sway speed to make the leaves go faster and also you can stop it by dragging this down so um you can see as i have dragged this down the leaves they are no more moving okay so let me change the sway level back to maybe 100 percent and also here you can change the scale of objects. You can change the scale of any object. Be aware that these axes are linked together. So you are moving everything together, whether it is linked together. So to scale it individually, you must first of all unlink the axis. Don't forget, just click here. So you'll be able to scale it individually. So on the lightning, you can cast shadow by clicking here. And also, there is always gravity present. And what this means is when you lift up an object and later let it go, it will fall to the ground. Or maybe it can land on on top of another object so for example if you select another object let's add let's add another object to the screen so let's go to create object and select and maybe let's 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 look for a box yeah a box okay so here we go so we need to increase the size to make it bigger by double clicking and edit its property like we did for the tree. So let's make it bigger by increasing the scale. So if you lift the tree up, let us drop it, it will fall on the box. If you want to cancel the effect, you can check float in the air. And this way, when you lift up an object and let it go, it stays in place. So this is good for putting things like picture on the walls. Um, so this one here can be can be stood on. It means people can stand on top of the object. For example, let me show you this. Um, okay, maybe let's see the character to this scene by going to create, then go to character. And so let me select this. So if I bring the character to the box, you can see she's getting into the middle of the box. So uh, if I want the character to stand on the box, that is when I need to select this and be stood on. So whenever I select this, so now as you can see, our character is now standing on the box. This is how to place our character on any object.
So and then um, we can also duplicate any object. And I will say an easier way to duplicate any object is by holding Alt key of Ctrl C for copy and then Ctrl V for paste. We know this normal way of copy and paste. So this also this is also active in this software. Um so another thing is you can select many objects together and group them to become a single object. For example, if we create two different trees, we can group them together by holding the control button while clicking on the object we want to group together. So after we have selected them, we can right click and then select group or hit on Ctrl G. By doing this, we have grouped the selected object together to become a single object. And you'll be able to move them and a single object. So, and we can also ungroup them by going through the same process while hitting the ungroup button. Um, and also, you can also lock and unlock the selected object by clicking here. If you lock any object, you will not be able to move or do anything on them until you unlock them back. So, and lastly, to hide an object in a scene, if you want to hide any object in a scene, you can do that here. You double click on the object and so by unchecking this box, it will be invisible in the final rendering. So whenever you make your final video, so that means what you have um what you are hiding, what you are making invisible will not show in your video. So that will be hot on building our objects. lesson is all about words and backdrops. I will show you how to create your own words and I will also explain and demonstrate the use of backdrops. One of the most powerful tools in this software is backdrops. So let's start with an empty set also. If you go to create um, then you click on words this little box pops up the screen and you can type in any sort of sentence in here. Um, for example, let's type the word yellow. And then click on create. You can then close the box. Now, um, on our scene, we can see the word yellow. So you can right click just like any other object and change um, its color. For example, um, let's, let's make it yellow. You can change its glow level. Um, if you crack up the glow, that means the light won't affect it so much. You also have all the usual of physics option and lighting here also. So um again um, if you start from the beginning, let's start from the beginning again. Um if you start from the beginning, go to create an words and let's type in yellow again. So and now we got an option right here that says group letters together meaning we can group the letters together to make a single object or we can leave them on good so um if we pick that ungrouped option let's let's pick the ungroup option if you click it and hit 
the create button. So that means we'll be able to edit the letter one by one. For example, if we double click on her letter, it brings up an option to edit and make some changes. We can create, we can change the color individually, um, increase the size, um, and then the physics option remains the same also, just as we did on the object. Also, we can change the scale, either to make it big or small. And so, um, finally, we can group everything together to become a single object by selecting all. If you select all and hit on Ctrl G or right click on the words and select group. So that means everything will be grouped together as a single object. So the um, next thing we are going to cover is our backdrops. Backdrops, like I said, um, like I said, earlier, is among the most powerful objects that you can use in set building. And we design them so that you can upload your home photographs or your home videos or mobile phone footage and put them in these backdrops. We've got all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Um, We've got ones that are carved, ones to match the shape of the rectangle that will be found, um, that can be found in a cinema or at your or at your TV. We can also add a plane as well. So I'm um, I'm going to delete all this. So um, let's just start with one of these white screen. So when you create a backdrop, you can put any image you want or any texture. To edit this, you can double click on it. Then we can make it, you can make it luminous, which means um, I'll make it really quite bright. In this section, we can do all usual stuff um, like we did on the other object. You can scale backdrop in all sorts of different ways. Um, then also on the lightning, you can switch on whatever. You can switch on whether it's casting a shadow or not. Um, but among the coolest thing you can do with backdrop is um, you can change the image look. You can change the image, image look. You can also make them move. You can move them to the right. You can make them move to the right or to the left. Or um, to any angle you want. You can control the angle to any direction depending on whatever you want to achieve. So um, on the image, let's try to change the image on the backdrop. So if you click on the image, here you can select or pick any texture you want to change. For example, let's go to background and select um, maybe this. Perfect. Then you can see we already have this on our backdrop. Um, also, you can import your own customized texture on the backdrop. You have to go through the same process by clicking the image and then down here you will see import. And by clicking it, you can go to your computer files and select your own image or texture. So um, let's quickly make a little car animation with the backdrop. So firstly, I'm going to bring a car object to the scene. So let's go to object and um, let's look for let's look for maybe a police car. A police car. 
perfect so um on our scene here so we have a police car so we can see our backdrop, our backdrop is smaller uh, so i'm going to make it look bigger by increasing the scale okay um so now so where is our camera so we need to focus on the car and the backdrop so to do this you must bring the camera to the front we need we need to put um the camera in such that in such a way that we don't see the edges of the backdrop and um, so here's our camera box so anything that shows in here is what we'll be rendering as as our animation so as i'm moving the camera to different angles you need to also focus on this box so now um let's let's animate so the backdrop again um double click on it and then set the animation speed so um it looks as if the car is driving as long as we put the camera angle in such a way that we don't see the edges of the backdrops then and that works well and that's just a couple of full effects you can do with backdrops objects and also um you can go to create backdrop again um maybe let's look for ground plane okay so this enable you make a moving ground on the scene and by this you can position the camera and focus the ground also just need to follow the same process as we did the first backdrop um so i'm basically need to increase the scale um not to fit the scene so we need to increase the scale um okay and also um you need to change the image to any texture that may fit in as a ground um okay so you can also set the animation speed and hang goal okay um okay so to make it move backward or forward to any direction of your choice so um you can change you can change the addition speed and angle here so and then lastly um move your you move your camera to display everything you have done just make sure just make sure to put the camera in such a way we don't see the edges of backdrop. Okay. So um so that will be all on backdrops. Uh you can also make some practices and then um you can try different things on your own and then um, don't forget to always save your files. So okay, so fine. Um see you in the next lesson.